Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand. Welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for Wednesday, May 29, 2024, after 3.15 p.m. Eastern. A lot of things that we are confronted with and are being confronted with, most of it is really our ego minds are how they, the ego mind has mastered us and how it directs us and how it guides us and how we can have things come in. You've probably experienced this where you have something happen and you can't, you, 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 want, you can't let it go. And then it gets you into a lower frequency kind of a mood. And, and then it expands. And you go into it deeper. And you start. And then all of a sudden you just say, you know what? I'm going to put a big fat stop sign up. Tell my mind to stop it. Because it's ludicrous that we experience. Okay, we'll keep trying this. Um, we had some really unusual low signals out here uh, so far all day, like an SOS or a one bar type thing. Then complicating that being high up in the mountains. This is, so we kind of pop up. So that's what I do. It'll, if I pop off, I'll be back on. But our focus as awareness when we view everything around us. See, when we view everything, it's usually the ego mind. And we, we look at certain things and perspectives and we calculate and we formulate how we think and feel about what's happening on this planet. There's a lot of people that are still mired in the goop, um, so to speak, on the surface planet. They're, too, they're so far in it. They just, ha they just don't know how to step out of it. They're so deep in it, they don't know how to get out of it. So from that perspective, it looks like, you know, with the propaganda war that we're, that people are thinking that, oh, it's horrible. It's all these bad things happening. Every second there's something bad happening. Craziness going on. Imagine how much people will appreciate, well, I'll say a lot of people will appreciate when the clouds are gone and the sun is full bright, figuratively. When we start experiencing the beginnings, of course, the beginnings of a God planet paradise. This is an absolute fact. It's not, you know, people are debated, oh, yeah, right, that type of thing. We all know that. But it's the opposite. What happens a lot of the times we, we focus on things that we're being inundated with, things that we're being lambasted by. A lot of it's not positive. It seems negative. Some of us just say, you know, I'm not interested in negative. I'm going to focus on what I want. And when you do that and you're in gratitude, it shifts you out of that goo that evil would like to have you stay in. And it will shift you out of the goo, whatever you're focused on. Remember, it's dangerous because when you get focused on something, any of us, and the focus is negative, okay, it's, or something you don't want to have happen, or something that's, that you believe has happened, that you're guessing that's happened. But the majority of the time, you find out that you are all totally off base with it, that it was something entirely different. You see, our ego mind, it pulls us into this false reality. 
and this is all about us mastering ourselves in, in these bodies and saying, you know, I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in all of this stuff. All of this doom, doom, and bad this and bad that. Because it gets a lot of people on an alternative track, so to speak. And it keeps a lot of people in the doldrums. And I think everybody knows what I'm talking about. But in reality, the focus in the quiet time of this meditation, see, the reality of this, true reality, it's the opposite. It's really the opposite, really. And I know there's a lot of people that are cynical, pessimistic, and analytical on top of it to dissect everything. And they say, oh, no, you know, it's, we're being had. This is just another trap by the bad guys. And it isn't. It isn't. Those traps are gone. They've been obliterated. And there's nothing, and, and this may sound strange to a lot of people, there's nothing to fear. There really isn't. Not a thing to fear. Everybody's lives on this planet is about to drastically change. And I don't mean in a negative way. I mean in a very high light energy way. It's going to change big time. And it doesn't matter what we're being, you know, our, our attention's being distracted or we're being diverted because of all this really nonsensical energy and frequency that we're experiencing and what we're watching. It's kind of like get the popcorn out and have a good belly laugh because it's so ludicrous. And no, we're not judging. We're just watching and just watching it all, taking it in. And see that we slowly but surely really start to understand that I keep my vibrational frequency high as much as I can on a daily basis, hour to hour. To not let this seep in. You know, the, oh boy, this doesn't look good. Or, oh, look at this over here. When's the good stuff going to be here? I get a lot of emails of people saying, when's the good stuff going to be here? Oh, well, you know, have you ever been in a situation where you, you were experiencing things, right, for a while, and they weren't too great for you, and then you, you shift gears and you come into a whole different landscape, so to speak. And everything starts getting really wonderful. And you start feeling, wow, this is great. And look at how much you appreciate it. I remember years ago, my mother, you know, we didn't, we didn't have a lot of money. We, you know, Air Force family, uh, it wasn't, you know, I mean, we didn't starve, but we, let's just put it this way. We, we didn't live high on the hog. So, and I remember years and years and years, my mother never had a dishwasher. She'd always do all the dishes by hand, dry them by hand, even though you put them on the, the, the drain rack. Put them all away. And, you know, she would cook huge dinners um, on Sundays, it was always a Sunday, because she was working all the other time. She worked from the age of 14 to the age of 80. Never stopped working. And had a, uh, just a phenomenal work acumen. Ethics. And so I decided, I mean, there were three of us still at home. My brother coming from Vietnam. He was on, I think he had gotten out. And he was at White Sands, uh, missile range in Mexico, and then he got out, and then he came home. And then my other brother, my second to the youngest, and then myself. And then you're in this real tiny town home for lower income, and uh, we just moved into it. And so we got in there, and it had, you know, three tiny bedrooms, or two, one, two tiny bedrooms. And so one Christmas, I said, you know, let's 
let's pool together our resources and let's get mom a dishwasher. Of course, back then, and we're talking late 60s, that was something to have a, uh, it wasn't built in, it was, a, it was a portable, I remember it was a Sears Kenmore, because back then that Kenmore brand was really good, it was made here, and it was a good quality product, so it had a chopping board top, and had push buttons on it, and nothing digital, and so we get this, and I put a red ribbon on it, and she comes downstairs, and you know she, she's just freaking out, because a dishwasher, and it was the one you'd have to hook up to your faucet because it wasn't built in, but it was great nonetheless. And all those years, I mean, living through the Great Depression and everything, she never had a dishwasher, and this was like the gem of all gems for her. It changed her whole perspective. And I know that sounds strange. So you see, when we don't have things for so long, that's my point I'm making. When we don't have things for so long, and then we do, we, it's like we really, really, really appreciate it, and we're deeply grateful for it for a very long time. And that's what I'm talking about here. We, as a people of this planet, okay, so it's not like we've had you know, hell, fire, and damnation 24-7 you know, burning and destruction. But we've had, we've had it rough as a people of this planet. We, we really have. And it's probably good that most of us don't know that to the extent it's been applied to us. But as this comes in, because it's coming in now, and you're going to feel more and more of it, this is a high-frequency, deep, eternal love, light energy. And there is no... There's no escaping it, okay? I don't know why anybody would want to escape it. And it's just like the, the dishwasher story. We are going to be in such deep gratitude because we've never experienced this before. This is going to be new for all of us. We've never experienced it on this planet. It's going to be like, wow, this is, this is for not once, you know... Once people start letting loose as far as opening their hearts, forgiveness, and, and, they, and they'll realize that this isn't short term, it's not just, you know, a big, a big pop and fatty and, and then it's all over. Nothing like that whatsoever, period. So in the quiet time of this meditation, Focus on your gratitude and focus on how your heart how your heart mind is feeling because I know that all this landscape and everything is really distracting for a lot of people and we all get sucked into it and we all go on lower energy vibrational frequencies here and there. See if you can, in the quiet time, and focusing on your breath rising and falling, being as still as a statue, and continually relaxing into the body. Focus on a God planet paradise. Because this is what we have entered. Now, it doesn't seem like it right now, but that little, that little veil of deception and distraction is, gonna, is just melting away. You will see what's behind it and you will experience what's behind it and I cannot I, I cannot I don't you know conceive that anybody would be disappointed there's going to be people that won't understand it many of us will assist them will help them but other than that it we're we're this is the really, 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 like Ed Sullivan used to say years ago, this is a really, really, really big shoe. And it's better than the biggest fireworks display that would last for a 1,000 or 2,000 years and beyond. So I'll join you in the meditation. I'll return to close this out.
Take an easy and slow breath in through the nose. Slow breath out of the Remain still. We have all been hypnotized by our mind's stories. Your mind is constantly feeding you stories about yourself, the world, and other people that are simply not true. I invite you to stop paying so much attention to these stories just for today. Let go of believing in just one of these myths that is not serving the highest good for all. These beliefs are limiting viewpoints and ancient fabrications that keep you trapped in the grand illusion of Maya. If and when you want to wake up, turn your attention towards what is real. That which is real never threatens And it never, ever, ever, ever changes. It is the spiritual truth of who you really are. And you see what is behind, behind, beyond your story now. So I invite you to question yourself and do a bit of self-inquiry. What's creating all these stories? Who is the one behind all these ideas, concepts? The stories are like movies in a theater that hypnotize and mesmerize us to believe in many fantastic and false things about ourselves in this world. They only distract us from finding the real you. Wake up, walk out of the cinema hall today. You have the power to step into the real you. That is is a story, that is story free. Who has no level of attachment to any particular movie? This is where you'll find freedom, passion, true love, and freedom. This is your day to discover the true, best of all, the true you, best of all, the real you, is found in this now moment where there is no mind, no hypnosis, no suffering. Or you could just be super lazy, enjoy the hypnotic effects while they last. Take this with you for the rest of the day into the evening and night and the following morning. And we'll return here tonight with a spectacular TFCC call well, after 9.15 p.m. Eastern. And Thursday, May 30, 2024, well, after 3.15 p.m. Eastern, to continue our global guided meditation call. Gentle, fine, generous, humble with yourself at all times. Be in the highest of the highest high, deepest of the deepest, deepest, purest of the purest, purest, eternal gratitude at all times. Open your heart, even if it's just a little bit. Let go. Give everything to the universe. And the magic begins. And it's up to you whether you want it to end or continue forever.